everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Baker DeMayer. If you've never been here before, thanks for stopping by and I'd love for you to subscribe. This past week was my spring break, so my mom and I went to Atlanta for a couple days and we got some really fun things, really awesome things that I'm excited to show y'all today. So I'm just gonna do a little haul and go through each store, each thing that we got from there. I'll leave everything linked down below in case y'all wanna get any of this stuff. Most of it should still be there, should still be in store since we literally got this last week. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first place we went to whenever we were there was Zara, and I'm obsessed with Zara. I wish we had one here in Columbia, but maybe one day we will. The first thing that I got from there was this really pretty sweatshirt, and it's like sweatshirt material, obviously, but then it has this really pretty like rope almost detailing coming down each side. And it's on both sides like this. And I just really love this. I love the oversized look. I'm not the type of person that loves everything to be slick straight to my body. Some things I feel like look really good on me as far as that goes, but for the most part, I like my stuff to fit me a little oversized. So I got this in a medium. But I really like this because it's something that you could pass off as more of a nicer shirt, but it still has that sweatshirt material, so you're still super comfy. I love to go for comfort. That's my number one thing I'm looking for when it comes to fashion or style. I love being comfortable. The next thing I got from Zara was this really pretty dress. It's like a midi dress, and it ties right at the waist. I love this dress because it's something that you can dress up, you can dress down. It has a really soft material. It's not like that super crisp linen feel. It kind of has a worn feel to it. Also, let me know if y'all would like me to say sizes, prices, whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff. I would love to do that. I just don't know if that's what y'all want. Again, I'm leaving the links in the description down below so anything that you're looking for or might want to grab, you can always click on the link below. Next thing I got from Zara is this beautiful little dress. I love the detailing along the waist. And it's just a short little dress. And it's also along the sleeves. It's adorable. I love this. Then I got another really pretty dress that ties at the waist. It's kind of like, it looks a little faded on camera, but it's almost like a like an army green with a little bit of yellow in it. But it has that same material as the striped dress does. It's really soft. It needs to be ironed a little bit, but it's a really soft dress, something again that you can dress up or dress down, wear into the office or into an interview or something, but also wear this like in the summer on a day or just hanging out with the girls. Cute dress, can be dressed up or down. I love it because again, comfort is key. I love the material of this dress, it feels good and I feel like it accentuates my waistline, which I love that in a dress. Lastly from Zara, I just got this classic gray blazer. And I feel like this is something that's gonna last me a really long time. It has really pretty like pearl buttons. And um, since I'm gonna be working in a school for like the rest of my life as a school counselor, I want to have pieces that are staples that can last me many, many years and good quality things. But I wanna have clothing that's multi-purpose. So things that I can wear like this, that I can wear into um, a school one day whenever I'm working in a school, or I can wear this over just like a cute sundress just to dress it up for like a night out or something. So love this blazer. I'm really excited about it. It's something that's very versatile. It can go with a lot of different styles, a lot of different colors. It's gray, so it's perfect. Also, while we were at the mall, we stopped by Topshop, which is where I got this shirt. Not this trip, but when we were in Chicago a few months ago, I got this. I love like their graphic tees. These are just so different. I have absolutely no idea what this says, which is probably really bad. I could be walking around with something really inappropriate, but hopefully just means something like you're cute or something in French. So top shop, I got this really pretty bodysuit that I'm obsessing over. So this is it. Look at the detailing on this. It's so beautiful. So it has like these lace flowers and then it has like sequins and it's like a little garden. And then obviously it's a bodysuit that clips down here at the bottom so it can pull it really tight. Um, but again, this is from Topshop. I love it. It reminds me of this bodysuit that I wore on my wedding day. It was this very similar color and it was a bodysuit that was kind of like sheer like this in the back. But I feel like this is really flattering on you since it is a bodysuit. It makes the point of a bodysuit is so that it pulls your shirt down. It pulls this piece down really tight to make sure that it's not like rising up. Um, so it's a really flattering look no matter what size or shape you are. Body suits usually look really good on you. Obviously you wear pants with them. You don't want to wear this plain like this. But I would wear like a pair of high waisted jeans or something to make sure you didn't see this lining in here. Um, but I think this will be really cute, really pretty for the summertime. Also from Topshop, I got these really pretty sunglasses. These are the key collaboration with Desi Perkins. My sister has this, shout out to you, Anna. She has a pair of sunglasses and on my bachelorette weekend, she had me wear them 
for um, a picture and I was obsessed with them and I knew I had to have them if you're going for an all black look or something that's like super again like chic vibes that you're trying to make everything like it would be perfect with just the shirt that I'm wearing right now if you just threw it on it's something that you can you don't even have to be wearing makeup you can just throw on a pair of sunglasses like this and it really pulls your look together it just makes you look like you're ready to take on the world you know Okay, next they have a free people store in the mall and I'm telling you y'all, these are coming back. You're gonna see them everywhere and it's these tube tops. I think I wore these in like middle school probably, maybe even a little bit after that, but these were like total early 2000s, but they're coming back, I'm telling you, and it's these tube tops. And I love this one because it has this pretty like flower kind of detail on it they also had this in a cream color and then i think in black as well but i just thought the blue was pretty it's like a minty color again something cute you could wear with some high-waisted jeans or um some denim shorts or something but super cute again you're gonna see i'm telling you you're gonna see these all the time especially in the summer it's something that's really cute again you can dress it up dress it down but they're perfect for hot south carolina southern weather we also popped into a Nordstrom while we were down in Atlanta. Again, one of the stores that I wish we had in Columbia so bad. I love Nordstrom. It's one of those places that you can go and get everything from home stuff to bathing suits to clothing to shoes. They just have it all. I love Nordstrom. And my mom and I went in there and she actually picked out this bathing suit for me. And y'all, I'm obsessed with it. This is the top. How cute. And it has, this is a big thing for me now. The straps in the back that are adjustable. So I have kind of like a regular sized body waist and I have somewhat of a larger chest. So things that are adjustable, come on, if you know, you know. And then she also picked, I mean, my mom is so stinking cute, y'all. She picked out this whole thing. She's so fashionable. And she picked out these cute little bottoms to go with it. They're a little bit on like the cheeky side, but not so much that it's obnoxious. It still covers your whole booty without being skanky. Another thing that I really wanted to get was a good solid pair of high-waisted jeans. And these are Joe's jeans. If y'all have not tried Joe's jeans, mm, they come up right like over your belly button. So they're not like so high that it's like right under your boobs, but they're high enough to cover up your stomach. You know what I'm saying? But also cute with a bunch of shirts that maybe are like, I can't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I start rambling and then I'm just so far into it that I can't like a okay, backdrop. I love high-waisted jeans. They're comfortable. I feel like they suck you in and accentuate the best parts of you. So I love these. They're just a skinny jean. Go all the way down. They're dark. Dark wash. Again, really good. It slims you in and I'm really excited about these. We also stopped by Lululemon while we were there and I got this cute little, it's just like a plain gray workout top and it has like the V back to it. I love Lululemon tops. I don't believe they're overhyped, overrated. I know they're a little pricey, but I'm telling you, every single piece that I've had from them has lasted. It's I've, God, I've had leggings from there. I think my first pair I got when I was like, probably a freshman in high school, I think, or a freshman in college, excuse me, and I was 18 years old. I'm 22 now, so it's been four years. Not a single thing has gone wrong with them. They're perfect, they're in perfect condition. I wear them all the time. I have another pair of leggings from them that had just a teeny bit of like a little rip and a little tear in the side of them. Took them into the store, showed them what happened. They said, no problem, and gave me a whole new pair. They replaced the whole things for free. Didn't have to do anything. So not only am I about this product, I think that it is worth it because their material is so good, but also their customer service, they're on it. Okay. Outside of Linux Mall, they also have like a cute little corner of stores that they have. And one of the stores is called Impeccable Pig. I just think their stuff is so cute. It's really like affordable for what it is. Some of their stuff is definitely on the pricier end, but for what it is, it's really good quality stuff, really cute. And anyways, I stopped by there. I got some really awesome stuff. The first thing I got there were these high-waisted gingham pants. So this is the waist and it has this little tie and they just kind of come out at the bottom. They're so cute. These are gonna be awesome for spring and summertime. Just tuck like a little white tank or a little white tube top, tuck into them, be super cute. But I love these, they have little pockets on them. Um, but I thought like these are just super flattering because they flare out and they have the high waist belt that you tie, it's super cute. Again from there, I also got this little skirt. Look at these little pom-pom details. I mean, come on. So cute, and then the little eyelet. I think I'm gonna wear this for Easter. So if y'all wanna see any of these outfits styled, I'm gonna be posting a lot of them on Instagram. My Instagram name is just linked down below. It's just Baker DeMare. And I'm gonna definitely be wearing this for Easter. It's super cute, perfect for springtime. Okay, the next thing. 
Z Supply, I don't know if y'all have heard of it, but they make the best V-necks in the entire world. V-necks are staple in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time, and I think I at least have eight of these t-shirts in different colors. But they have like a distressed line that I haven't seen that I'm pretty sure is new this year, but I got this really pretty, it's like a, it's like a worn salmon-y color. Um, and it's just a simple v-neck with a little pocket. Again, they make these in like a million different colors and I have at least eight of them. But I usually like to go up a couple sizes up. I'll either get a medium or a large because I like them to fit a little bit looser. But these are perfect. Again, pop a blazer on top, make it look like you're wearing a nice outfit or tuck it into some high-waisted denim shorts. And you got an outfit. These are super cute, easy to wear, comfortable, gonna last you all year long. You can layer them, anything. I love Z Supply, would wear them every day if I could. So going into Atlanta, I knew that there are a couple things that I needed in my wardrobe, a couple things that I really wanted, and I had a list of those things. One of them was that pair of sunglasses that you saw from Key, I love those, knew that I wanted them, knew that they would be something that I'm gonna wear for a long time. And the next thing I knew that I really wanted, didn't really care where it came from, I knew that I wanted a white denim jacket because I'm gonna be wearing it a lot this summer. So this is an oversized one. It has a little bit of distressing. If you can see kind of like, I don't know if you can see that. It has like some holes and stuff on it. Um, but this is from Impeccable Pig as well. I got this in a large because I wanted it to fit me a little oversized. Um, I love the way denim looks. I love the way that it feels. I love how it goes with different things. So I'm really excited about this white one. You can wear it with something like this that I'm wearing right now, just like a graphic tee or again, something you can dress up, dress down, but these are really in the season. Denim is here and it is here to stay. So another tour that we went to is called South Moon Under. I shop their stuff online all the time because we don't have one in Columbia, but I got this super cute shirt. It's like this linen kind of gauzy material and it's just this button down. I'm so excited for this. It's something you can wear like over a bathing suit or while you're like on the boat or something, but also something you could wear to work, to class, whatever, maybe with some black jeans tucked into something super cute. Love this. Again, I'm all about comfort and this material makes it feel like you're wearing a t-shirt. That's all I'm saying. This is another one of those comfort pieces that I got. It's this cute little like a flannel button down, but look at the bottom. It has this fringe. So cute. I steal Greg's flannels all the time because I just think they're so comfortable but this one has a feminine touch to it it has these little fringies on it they're perfect you can wear like a little white tank top under this or like a graphic tee again like this this is going to be one of my go-to pieces until it gets to be a little bit warmer for layering especially when it starts off with those days that are like 50 degrees in the morning and then by the time it's afternoon it's like 90 degrees this is perfect to wear a t-shirt underneath or a short sleeve shirt or something pile it on to make you warm and then take it off whenever it gets to be blazing hot outside. Hopefully I can find this because it was on sale, but it's this cute little workout top that has a heart and in the middle of that heart is, yep, you betcha, a freaking taco. I love this, I think it's so cute. Something that I would love wearing working out because it's gonna inspire me that if I work out, that means I can have more tacos, right? That's how it works. But it's funny because this is the second workout top now that I have that has tacos on it. I have another one that says Taco Tuesday. So clearly I'm obsessed, I love it. I just thought it was super cute, so I had to pick it up. It was on sale for I think like $20 or something originally. It's and originally it's like $60. So got a great deal on that and it's super cute. So like every single girl, woman, it doesn't matter what age you are, you're probably obsessed with Target. What I did not know about Target is that they're coming out with some really freaking cute clothes. Target looking for actually decorations for St. Patrick's Day and ended up coming across their women's line. Y'all, they have so many things that are great for work, great for the office but also again, versatile clothing that you can dress up or you can dress down. And I found some really, really cute, affordable, inexpensive, good quality stuff in there. So again, I'm telling y'all I'm all about this this year. I'm all about these dresses. I just think they're so flattering, but look at this one. So cute. I mean, come on. This blue stripe is beautiful. It has this pretty little V-neck and then again, this tie. So the tie is perfect because it accentuates your waist, pulls it in nice and tight. Love it. Then I also just got a plain white like collared shirt and this will be good to wear under anything. I mean, this is just a good staple item to have. You can wear it under like a blazer or tucked into some jeans or chinos or something. Dress this up with like some accessories, a pretty necklace or some earrings or something. But it's just a good staple to have in your closet. Also got this blue dress that also, what do you know, ties at the waist. 
Um, but this is really pretty. Look at these sleeves. And y'all, I mean, this stuff is not that. This was $24. This really freaking cute dress from Target. And it's so high quality. You would never guess this is from Target. They're awesome. Again, all about comfort here. Look at how cute this shirt is. It ties right here at the waist. So cute, but it's like a sweatshirt material. So you're gonna walk up into work or whatever it is, looking like you're wearing this really nice shirt, but really it's like you're wearing a sweatshirt. So pumped about that. Also, the last thing that I got from Target was this really cute shirt. I'm all about gingham. Look. So precious it has these little sleeves that come out little bell sleeves and then the little comes out at the waist as well so it's gonna be super cute I'll pair with some white jeans really excited about that and i think this was like y'all tell me y'all let me know below if this is something that you want to know do you want to know sizes do you want to know prices i'll give it to you if you do this is 27 dollars for this shirt so not expensive at all great quality classic i mean this is just a black and white gingham shirt gingham's gonna be around for a long time for last i just wanted to show you all some accessories that i got the first thing are these cute earrings they're like little triangles but they're these little triangle earrings so cute from a place called admiral row it was like just this little vendor that was in pont city market i don't know if y'all been to pont city market but it's awesome it's so cute they have like little shops in there and it's usually not like big chain places i mean they, i think they have like a west elm and anthropology and stuff in there but they um have like this place called citizen supply they just have some really cool shops and it's like this giant warehouse that they've redone and they also have like restaurants and all that fun stuff in it so that was really cool we also went in another little shop in there that was called i think it was called like mystique something i'm not sure it was very earthy and it was really cool they had this thing called buzz block i am a girl who loves bug spray i hate getting eaten up by bugs and for some reason i always find myself getting bitten especially in the summertime if there are bugs around 10 times out of 10 they're gonna bite me so this is a natural bug spray which i'm all about y'all know that i hate putting toxins in my body i think that's so bad for you if y'all like me to do a video one day maybe about why toxins are so bad for you what is in them, what they cause. I would love to do that, but, oh, here it is. It's called Coco and Mishka. Mishka? Coco and Mishka, I think it's Mishka. But basically, it's just a bug spray that's made simply out of essential oils, lemon, eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and cedar wood. So this isn't nasty chemicals that you're putting into your skin which soaks into your body. It's just natural bug spray made out of things from the earth. And then also, if you see a Sephora in a mall, obviously everyone has Sephoras in their mall, but you have to stop anyways. So my mom and I went into Sephora and I like convinced her to get all this dry bar stuff because I'm obsessed with dry bar and I know she'll like it. She ended up getting the um, like the purple hair conditioner, hair shampoo, because she has blonde hair. And I was explaining to her about how purple is good for blonde hair. Anyways, I got my favorite hairspray. It's called the Sheriff. This stuff smells so good. Mm, it's like has a vanilla-y, but like a, like a crisp vanilla. I might even turn all their stuff smells so good. But I love this hairspray because it's not like super tacky. It doesn't like make your hair crunchy. It makes it feel, um, it definitely holds it, but it doesn't in a way that like makes your hair, you can still brush through it later. It's not like yanking your brush through whenever you're trying to brush through it after you've hairsprayed it. And then also from Sephora, I got my favorite dry shampoo in the world. This is the Bumble and Bumble Nourishing Dry Shampoo. Again, smells so good. But this stuff, it doesn't come out in like those white clumps making it look like you have a ton of dandruff on your head. The stuff comes out. Um, it definitely has like a little bit of the white and you absolutely have to rub it in like other dry shampoo. But the good thing about this is that it doesn't make your hair feel chalky or any of that. You can't even tell that it's in there. But it makes your hair look like you just took a shower. Last thing that I'm going to show y'all, I know it's been a lot, but this is my favorite thing we got on the entire trip. This is my all-time favorite candle. Ugh. It's called Sandalwood. It's from Henry Bindle. I am obsessed, y'all. This candle smells so stinking good. Mm, I wish I could smell this through the camera. It's unreal. The only time I ever get these candles is if I'm in an actual Henry Bindle store. But if you can find one in Bath and Body Works or whatever their other candle place is called. Anyways, it smells so good. 
I literally will have this sitting in my room and not even burn it and I can smell it because that's how like potent it is. So if you don't like super strong smelling candles, you're probably not gonna love this. But to me, it just smells so, it's like clean and kind of like musky at the same time. I don't know why y'all, I just cannot get over this candle. I could talk for hours about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. I will be sure to link everything down below so that you know where to get any of the stuff if you would like it. Again, I just got it this past week, so most of it should still be in store and be available to you. Y'all comment down below any suggestions or things that you might have for future videos, anything that you might wanna see. Maybe what was your favorite thing that you saw in this video? I'd love to hear back from y'all. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.